how is it kind of developing this story? Uh, what, what kind of made you interested in it? Because there are so many layers today that I hope we can talk a little bit about it. Yeah, I think, um, uh, I mean, it sort of draws from uh, uh, the Icelandic folklore and uh, how it was, and it, indeed it is just a classical drama with one surreal element. So, I mean, the story itself, the dramatic story, is, uh, is a classical one and we were drawn to it. I draw a lot from uh, just you know folklore nature you know and but but within this classical structure and I think that was um, y you know because it has the classical structure we were able to kind of allow ourselves to um, be very creative with you know w within it when talking about this couple uh, what it is that that you wanted to kind of shine through I'm also thinking about maybe conversations with the director about it I think uh, I think I mean they are uh, they have experienced uh, a loss, and uh, they're sort of you know I mean they've been through things together, so they're like they're perf in perfect harmony. But there is like always this sadness uh, like in the beginning before they uh, have the newborn. You know the director uh, you know drew a lot from his uh, you know from his uh, grandparents who were indeed farmers and. Uh, and, and did do things together, you know, there, were, there was isolation and they would go and do every job on the farm together and, and I think one of the things that was important for him was also that there was no division of who does what, you know, uh, there was no man role or a, a women's role, you know, mm -hmm. they would do everything together uh, and that's I think, you know, kind of like the, the harmony that he, you know, that we wanted to create within their relationship, Maria and Ingvar's relationship. There was nev never much dialogue in the script, you know, and uh, I mean, it just, I think, you know, we just had the right actors and the right director to deliver this. How did you thought about showing this place so it would look like something we recognize, but at the same time feel kind of fitting for, as you said, this, this surreal element. That we could shoot uh, 360 and never see anything, mm -hmm. you know, so we would, uh, we could shoot out of every window and we'd only see mountains and, uh, and hills and, you know, land. So that was very important and we actually did, like, we did go twice around the island and we yeah. took, it took us two years to find the right place. The director, Valtimar, he, you know, he had a very specific place in mind. It was really important that you had this feeling of, um, that you were in a valley and that you couldn't really, yeah, where, wherever you go, you just see nature. Yeah, and in this uh, film, uh, nature sort of uh, represents uh, danger. So that's, like, you know, important that we would not see any other farms or anything. I remember two years ago in Cannes uh, with the Jim Jarmusch opener, there was a little bit of discussion that maybe this art house cinema is opening a little bit more for genre elements. You know, it's this classical thing, but you can allow yourself, like, the genre element is, like, this is one surreal element you know and and that's kind of what you can allow yourself to uh, to do a little bit yeah. it's it's the stories and stories you know mm -hmm. with interesting stories you know rather than it being uh, rather than ticking some boxes exactly or, exactly you know, rather than ticking a box of genre this or you know or art house or drama or I was curious how you saw Nomi's performance in particular yeah I mean I think it's like you know what is important uh, in this is like you know that uh, I mean, you, you, uh, you're in a situation where you are really willing to do anything to bring back the joy that you yeah. had before, and you're uh, ready to compromise, you're ready to just do anything, you know, to relive the happiness that you had. She just makes sure that, like, everything that is in her way, you know, is just taken care of, you know, because she will not let anything stop her, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, yeah. From bringing, from being, bringing back like what was before. Yeah. Numi and Valtemar, you know, they did so much research and so much work in, in in preparation about that, you know, and how to approach it, and and how to approach it because there is a uh, very little dialogue. But she she is portraying like am amazing emotions. In a way, she's very soft and gentle, but at the same time, just like really strong-minded and and. A little bit cold. There is there is strength that comes out of you yeah. in those situations. That's very primal, yeah. uh, almost. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Valtima has been looking for a long time for an actress. You know, <laughs> uh, we were extremely lucky to have her, and uh, yeah, I, I think you know, not not everyone could have done what she did. Basically, uh, we've worked on this film for a very long time, and you know, and it, it's a small film, so and you know, we. I don't know, it's very personal for everyone, you know, and everyone was super invested, so it, it, it feels like a, 
It feels like a really long journey and a good uh, end to it. Yeah, as you said, it's a small movie, but I think it's also a very big movie. Uh, <laughs> so please, please try to uh, try to look it up.